What's up everybody, my name is the Dizzy Viper and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I make my puddles. Yeah, I know I already made a tutorial about puddles inside my Cornelius Demrich tutorial, uh, but I thought it would be a good idea to make an own tutorial about it, uh, since I also improved my puddle shader a lot since then. So without any further ado, I think we should get right into the tutorial. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to paint our puddle map. Um, and I'm going to use an 8K workspace right here for my puddle map. Make it white. There we go. Since the puddles in the last tutorial were made with watercolor brushes, I found some new brushes that might be a lot better for it. And those are brushes from a collection called the Ron Collection. Now the collection is not free, but is there is a shit ton of brushes in there that you can use for uh, puddles and stuff. For example, I'm using a mix between cracks and um, those grungy looking brushes. And the packs I'm using here are called Cracks 2 and Extreme Grunge in the case that you are gonna buy the wrong collection or you already have it. And just in case, I've also done some research on some free alternatives for these grunge packs and I will leave a link to them in the description down below just in case. So let's start painting our puddle map. So one of my favorite brushes here is this one right here, which looks like this. And um, I always use vertical or horizontal, I never use diagonal brushes, just, I don't know, I don't, I don't really like it in image, but you can do it however you want. So I'm going to use a brush size between 4 and 5000, simply because my map is 8k, so I have to use a big brush. Um, I'm just going to start painting like random uh, brushes, like maybe also this one at the corner right here, again, uh, 4500, something like this maybe. Uh, this is probably gonna be just wet because as you can see it's not black. Maybe maybe I can do like a couple of them. Yeah, it's a lot better like this. Um, and also I'm gonna use maybe this one right here. I put 3000 as I don't want it too big like that. This is also not. There we go. And as you can see now this is a brush that has edges. I'm gonna just gonna simply remove it with a eraser. And not with just uh, normally raising it, but here I'm gonna use my puddle textures. Um, that's s simple because if I use a normal brush, then the edges would be too even. So I'm gonna use about a thousand of this and just click around it. Now, I know in Photoshop now you might not see a big difference between the normal and um, this eraser, but at the end of the day, in inside octane it does make a slight difference and last but not least i'm gonna put in some cracks as well okay so now we're done drawing our puddle map it's just a really quick puddle map you obviously can make it bigger and more detailed but this is just uh, to show how it works so now we're ready to save our puddle map and start building our shader inside octane Okay, so we're inside Cinema 4D right now and we're gonna just start creating our shader. So we're gonna open a Octane material and straight away set the Octane material to a glossy material and set the index to 1004. This is gonna be our dry material. So put it on top. Then we're gonna create a second Octane material, also putting it to glossy and setting our index to uh, 1.2 or around 1.2. Okay, let's start putting in our textures. So I'm gonna use a texture from polygon.com, which is gonna be my city street road asphalt single lane worn 001 texture, just in case you want to look it up. So we're gonna put in our color map right into the diffuse channel right here. Then uh, a next image texture carrying our glossy map, putting it into our roughness channel. And last but not least, our normal map uh, where is it? There it is. Like that. So next we're going to set up the textures in our glossy material, which is the material with the index 1.2. And here we're going to also put in image texture with the color. Going into our diffuse channel. And then a image texture carrying our glossy map, which is gonna work as a bump map in this case. But before plugging this bump map into our bump channel, set the power to 1.4, or I'm always using 1.36, and then plug it into color correction, like this, 
and set the color correction gamma to 1.8. Oops, 1.8, there we go. So now our glossy map is now a lot darker. Now let's create a mix node and plug our color correction right into texture 2 and mix it by the amount of 0.03 like that and plug it right into our bump map now. So now that what we have to do is we have to link our puddle maps of course. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create another image texture and just put in our puddle map that we just created which should be here. And now just plug that image texture right into our texture number one, right here. And now create a second image texture and put the puddle map also in there, like this. The upper puddle map, which is going to be our amount indicator, um, you have to set the gamma to 0 0.7. And then the other puddle map that we just plug it into our mix texture, you have to put the gamma at around 7.2. And now, last but not least, we're going to create a mixed material, plug the bottom material into material 2 and the upper material into material 1, and just let that be mixed by the amount of our puddle map. And there we go, our puddle shader is done. So let's just see what it looks like. So this is what our puddle shader looks like right now. I think it looks actually pretty nice. And what I also like about this technique that if you look at it from a certain angle, also the rest of the road reflects a lot of light which is just realistic, like it's, ju it's just been raining basically. Um, yeah, and you can, you can vary with all the settings a little bit, uh, put on more roughness, and, and it's awesome, like it's, it's really modular. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial about the puddles, and I hope it helped. And as always, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.